now that I'm on the right side of the engine, here's the thing you got to understand too. Uh, guys, these lab sheets can't be every single all-encompassing answer because we're going to find different specifications. So all of our WIT lab sheets are general. They're not KX250 specific. So the ranges and different things we have to understand, we have to go to the appropriate service manual. The other thing I want to say about that is here's a perfect example. Give me those engine cases behind you. I got this donated because it's a rare oddball one that's not real common. It's a right side drive. So if you look at this, do you see how our, our sprocket would come out this side? Mm -hmm. This is 99.9% .9 of all dirt bike and four wheeler engines out there. So that's what we train on. But if you look at here, the transmission shaft on this comes out the right side which means the clutch and everything's on the left side and your ignition is on the right side, so it's backwards, okay? They just chose on, this was on a, either a three or four wheeler, it was a Honda, I think it was a three wheeler that had a right side drive, really rare. We have a dirt bike in the back by Yamaha where it's a right side drive. What does that matter for your training? Nothing. Next to nothing, next to nothing, because it just means everything's flipped. The testing procedures, what they do, how they operate, everything's identical. It's just switched from side to side. Harley-Davidson uh, choppers in the whole chopper world ended up doing stuff like this. The, the drives like on my chopper are a left side drive. But if I went to one tire size bigger, I would have had to move all my components to the right side to balance the bike out. Uh, for a better ride. So then it would become a right side drive. It doesn't change how I work on the transmission. It just means I flip things. Make sense? It's got yeah. reverse so, on the other side too. Yeah, sporties are on the other side. So if I move my ignition to this side, I still, the ignition side of the crankshaft seal seals off what? The case. What's it not wanting to get into our sealed motor? Air. 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 For, forget the dirt as far as theory. Dirt's always, that's going to be our given. Since this is flipped, and my, my left side has my primary drives, my clutch, and my oil that's going to be poured in here, what is this seal, what is this seal sealing? Oil. 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 Okay, it's not, it's not letting oil in. So no matter which way you do it, it's a bunch of the same, but here's that odd duck. So we're going to go back and focus right. around what we're all working on. Why don't you get rid of that for me? And uh, we're going to deal with getting off our right side covers. So when you go to the parts fish, you're going to start to see that we're going to have we're going to have from the cases we're going to have a right side cover, and then we even get into additional covers. So on this one here, we've got a clutch cover. This one for me is even faster than my little electric gun. Have you seen these where they have a ball bearing on there and a little handle and yeah. you can whirl them and they really... Just like a tire iron? Pretty sure Motion Pro sells a pretty cool set. Is there a chance that these bolts might be different lengths? Yep. Mm -hmm. Am I really too worried about it right now? No. Nope. Nope. I'm not. Oh, look at that. There's some pretty different lengths there, right? So I'm just going to be fast about this. Go ahead and pull this off. And for me, I'm just going to make my little pile right there. So I'm not going to worry about labeling it because I'll come back to it and I know that those are clutch parts. Make sense? Yep. Let's take a look at our water pump. We really haven't talked much about these, have we? Nope. Nope. Because we haven't really done liquid cooling much. You probably already had this guy out. Why? To drain it. To drain it. So it, behind any drain, what did we always say we have? A crush washer. A crush washer. And you can see that in there. We got our little aluminum crush washer. Okay. I'm just going to set that back in there because that's not required. Um, to pull the cover off. Okay. Okay. A couple dollars is going to kind of set stuff out to, uh, to come back to. Okay. Once we get into water pumps, we're going to start to learn about the seal behind here. We have a thing called a mechanical oil seal. We're going to get more in depth than that once we get to the part. But this impeller, what's it coupled to? What drives the water pump? Crankshaft. Okay, yeah, it's coupled right, right to the crankshaft itself, okay? See these little dowel pins on that clutch basket cover? Yeah. Okay, tiny, tiny right? How, how easy do you think those come apart in the parts washer? Pretty easy. Yeah, a little bit of heat, and those just uh, expand that aluminum case. Those are steel pins, and they're going to... Uh, Stuff gets fun. At home, I would have my 
my air impact, which would be really fast, and I would just, I'd unkiss them all, and then zip, 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 zip. And uh, let me go with that. How they go here? Just spin that up the top. Good stuff. Good stuff. Right there. Yes, I've seen that movie. What? Okay, what am I doing right now, guys? What's my technique? Yeah, chase the seams. Chase along the seams. Looking for a uh, bolt. Any more fasteners or anything holding it together? Draw an imaginary line. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take this guy out. And this means I won't even have to label this bag because what do I know? Right, yeah. Got the oil cap in there. I'm going to know it's this cover, right? right? Okay, what was the part when I said we go to pull this cover off gives us some grief? Where's Anybody remember? The Kickstarter. So what I say to always try and do that Kickstarter. Keep pressure on it. Use your gun. Use your gun. Use your gun. The clutch This sprung up so much on this uh, impeller on the power valve here. So I need. Give me a. Uh, oh, this is pretty good. Clear. Yep. Okay. I don't want to stick screwdrivers in there. Because it's a machine surface. Yeah, so I'm to figure out why that bound up. There might be something not in there right. Mm -hmm. Could have you taken this off in the bike? No. no. Yeah, yeah. probably. Sure. You could have, yeah. And then would I have to be worried about stuff being held now? No. no. Nope. Okay. I'm probably stuck on a dowel pin or something. So I'm going to go back to the right tools. So give me a, uh, a punch. There's another little tab here for me to push on. Okay, see how I got to unspring? I was pushing against that little tab right there. Okay. Yep, I'm going to push down. There we go. A little massaging back and forth. Didn't break anything, did we? Nope. Okay, keeping my thumb on there. Now I'm switching to hold it from the inside. Do you see that? Mm-hmm. And I can uh, just go ahead and take it off. Okay, so this is where we tend to get into. I'm going to open up the power valve cavity and see if uh, there's any missing pieces in here. This one with it being a, a parts bike, there's a chance we uh, might need a lot. Are we going to start putting this one? Are you going to make this one run then? Uh, I'm going to put the money on uh, the other ones first, but if there's enough left over... Then I'll go that route. So, just like our test stand motor, the Suzuki power valve here, when the crankshaft spins, because this is attached to the crankshaft, or this is crankshaft, it's geared by the crankshaft, I should say. This is going to excel. It's going to accelerate with centrifugal force. It's going to move a spring out in here, which lifts this rod and opens that valve in the exhaust. Faster we go, what did we say about the hole in the exhaust? The bigger it gets. <laughs> the bigger it gets. Smaller it's going to be there. Now, Suzuki tells us to pull the head, pull the cylinder, take the piston off, put a special, that U-tool on here, and then take off these crank nuts. I like to make these loose now. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Because by taking the nuts loose now, it gives me that opportunity to... Uh, um, use a couple of tools and I don't have to worry about the rod banging all over the place or whatnot So I'm gonna need a 14 millimeter and I'm gonna go check out a special tool